Empirical provide compelling, interactive learning across a range of delivery options. Live on site, live online, or online anytime, we have a training course that is ideal for you. For a no-obligations chat about your training requirements, contact us at empirical.com. In this two-minute video, we're going to explain why Wi-Fi 6, or 802.11ax, has now introduced OFDMA, orthogonal frequency division multiple access, as a new means of multiplexing multiple devices onto our Wi-Fi wireless medium. Before Wi-Fi 6, however, all previous Wi-Fi standards simply used OFDM, orthogonal frequency division multiplexing. And this fundamentally meant that all of the available subcarriers or tones were going to be allocated to a single device at any instance in time. Now, Wi-Fi 5, or Wave 2 version of this, also introduced what was called multi-user MIMO, where we could have multiple users on the wireless medium at the same time. However, they'd be on different streams, with each device still using all of the available subcarriers. In this example, across the 20 MHz channel bandwidth, are 52 available subcarriers or tones. So, how have things changed with Wi-Fi 6? Well, with OFDMA, we now portion up the individual subcarriers or tones, and these can be allocated to a number of different devices. In this diagram, then, we can see that we've grouped together blocks of 26 subcarriers or tones, and it's these resource units which can then be allocated down to our particular Wi-Fi device. Now, we're not limiting here to blocks of 26 subcarriers. We have the flexibility to offer different sizes of resource unit, increasing here to 52, moving up again to 106, and potentially still allocating to a single user all of the available subcarriers or tones. Clearly, the increasing of the number of subcarriers as forming part of our resource unit will naturally drive up the throughput or the data rates that our Wi-Fi devices can support. However, we now have the flexibility of supporting multiple devices at the same time by only allocating them the resource units that they actually require. So, if you look at the table then, comparing the capabilities and the flexibility, here we can see for a 20 MHz channel allocation, then we can range from nine resource units, with each one comprising of 26 tones, down to allocating to a single device with a single resource unit comprised of 242 tones. But Wi-Fi 6 can operate across different size channel bandwidths. So by increasing up to 40 MHz, we can see now we can increase our uh, number of 26 uh, tone resource units up to 18, but we can now support a single uh, user with a resource unit made up of 484 tones. The same concept increases as we move up towards 80 MHz, and then finally up to 160 MHz channel bandwidth. Here potentially supporting 74 different devices, again if we use the 26 tone uh, resource unit. Need to know more? Why not visit our store where you can choose from over 200 hours of video-based training? Alternatively, you can contact us to discuss any specific training requirements you may have.